In this session, we will learn how to use publicly available websites to find laboratories that test for the gene that we're interested in. Two resources that are very useful are Gene Tests and the Genetic Testing Registry. Both allow you to search by either a gene symbol, a gene name, or the condition that you're interested in. So let's start with Gene Tests. We'll navigate to their website at genetests.org and then at the prompt on the top of the screen we'll type in the gene symbol CFTR in our case. We'll click search and it brings up this view. And you can see it provides a variety of entry points. You can look by the um, two views shown here. You can filter by the specific genes or the tests. And so let's use that option. And then we only want to find laboratories that perform molecular testing. So let's narrow it to that and then apply the filter. And now when we scroll down, we'll see a long list of laboratories that use a variety of methodologies to perform testing on the CFTR gene. And you can see that increasingly the methodology applied at many of these labs is DNA sequencing. A similar resource is the Genetic Testings Registry. This is also a part of the NCBI website that we've used in other exercises. And again, we'll type in our gene symbol CFTR. It takes us to this view. And you can see that this is going to be organized using the RefSeq ID 1080 that we identified in other exercises for CFTR. So again, we'll, um, we'll navigate through the site, and this time we're going to pick the test listing. And now you can see that it provides, again, a pretty robust list of laboratories that are performing testing for CFTR. So if we click this, we can see for example, ARUP performs the test, and we can see that there are other laboratories, a variety of models, reference labs, and others that perform testing for the CFTR gene. If we scroll down, we, for example, we can see this site also offers the testing. Some sites offer much larger catalogs than others, so you can see that both of ARUP and this lab have multiple hundreds of tests. So you have to sometimes scroll down quite a way before you find the information specific to the gene that you're interested in. But here we see there are offerings for CFTR testing. Knowing how to find a diagnostic laboratory that is able to test for the gene that you're interested in is an important capability in clinical bioinformatics. In this session, we've shown two websites that are very useful for that goal.